Following another successful rock coring operation, a routine inspection of the hardware revealed hair-like objects in two places. Now the search is on to figure out what they are and if they jeopardize the mission. On this episode of Mars Guy, the recent collection of two core samples of what looks like mudstone is a major win for the Perseverance mission in its quest for ancient microbial life, as I presented in the previous episode. But the follow-up inspection of various sampling components has precluded a victory lap for Perseverance, or at least halted its forward progress while the team assesses the significance of what is probably foreign object debris, commonly referred to as FOD. FOD is a major concern in spacecraft assembly, where efforts to guard against the potentially damaging effects of even just hair or lint are one of the reasons for bunny suits and clean rooms. Following coring operations, Perseverance uses its mast-mounted cameras to inspect the drill chuck for any signs of FOD or damage. Here's a quarter for scale, and here's how it looked after the most recent coring operation versus the previous one. It looks like there's a strand of wire in it. The view into the bit exchange carousel, courtesy of the Watson camera on the arm, shows a twisted fiber seemingly caught on the back of one of the bits. In the Martian days, or SALs, that followed these discoveries, Perseverance performed additional imaging, including examining components in a way never seen before. This is a one-second frame rate video speeded up, showing the deployment of the drill chuck with the abrading bit at the end. No evidence of fibers or damage can be seen. It looks the same as before it left Earth. Multiple views were acquired of the inside of the chuck. The piece that was there before is now gone, so maybe it fell out when the abrading bit was exchanged. The bit carousel was rotated to the left and back again, which had no effect on the twisted fiber. It's still there and even appears to be waving in the breeze, caught in a blur. Here's the front view with the fiber in a blur and six seconds earlier when it was still. Neither of these pieces appears to have come from a damaged component, so it's likely that they are not from the rover itself, qualifying them as true FOD. We know that debris from the entry, descent, and landing system has blown into the rover's current location, as I presented in episodes 63 and 67. So it seemed likely that the fibrous debris that appeared in the chuck and bit carousel are more of this stuff. It also seems likely that the remaining FOD in the bit carousel will prove to be harmless to operations. Probably the worst case scenario is that it gets into a new sample tube, but this should be recognizable, allowing for the possibility of rejecting that sample. This latest example of FOD on Mars is driving home one of the realities of the current technology used to land there. Ideally, future landing systems will be developed that minimize or eliminate debris. Perhaps the Starship vehicle currently under development by SpaceX for trips to Mars will provide that capability. 